Hello, and happy Fakasi Friday. This, my friends, is the Holy Bible edition of Boys in the Valley by Philip Fakasi. Uh, courtesy of, well, it was a group effort, really. I mean, courtesy of the man himself, Philip Fakasi, for writing a novel, uh, whom the proceeds of this Kickstarter uh, went to support uh, for his book tour uh, for Paul Michael Caine over at 19th Editions, who did the rebinding of this uh, this title. Uh, to Mitch Hull, over at Rapture Brewing, and now Rapture Pub... Rapture Publishing or Rapture Press? I, I should double-check that. I want to say Rapture Publishing sounds right. Uh, who organized this Kickstarter and all of the rewards. Let me zoom in a little bit, because we're very wide. It's a tiny book. It's a trade edition-sized book. Uh, so... Yes, as I said, this is the uh, Holy Bible edition of Boys in the Valley, which I don't know if that's necessarily correct. I mean, I guess you need to call it something. Um, but we're, we're going to take a look. Wow. So this is masterfully rebound uh, by Mr. Paul Michael Caine in 19th editions. It's very interesting style. It definitely, it definitely differentiate. Uh, it definitely went a different course than the original mock-ups were uh, designed. But that is a okay. I mean, this is actually sturdier than what the original mock-ups likely would have resulted in. Uh, so, a little bit of background information on this. Uh, last year, 2023, uh, celebrated the publication of the trade edition of Boys in the Valley by Philip Fricasi. And to celebrate, uh, Fricasi wanted to do a book tour. You know, a traditional book tour, author going from city to city, doing, uh, doing some readings, doing some signings, meeting the fans. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the tour Nightfire wasn't going to be paying for this book tour. Uh, so, Philip Fricasi, uh, with the assistance of Mitch Hull, and I presume some of the other admins from Fricasi Freaks, uh, banded together and they did a Kickstarter to raise funds so Philip Fricasi could uh, travel the country. Uh, I should say countries, because he did actually go into Canada, uh, which is where I met him. Uh, uh, even though I'm not Canadian, I'm, I'm you know, pseudo-Canadian here in Buffalo. Um, but one of the rewards was this Holy Bible edition. Uh, which is one of 26 lettered copies. Here's this, the limitation page. Uh, so it is rebound by 19th edition founder, Paul Michael Kane. Uh, limited 26 copies. I have uh, L for uh, presumably my, my last name. So L for Lynch. How about that? Uh, signed by Fricasi and Paul Michael Kane as well. Uh, if you are a Stephen King fan, you should definitely check out 19th edition, which is, of course, named after Stephen King uh, and his love for the number 19, but they do all sorts of uh, goodies. Weirdly enough, I don't think there, it's actually like 19th edition.com. I think it's all still through uh, the uh, his Shopify. It's like my Shopify Lightbox. Uh, Paul, Paul Michael Kane is a photographer. Uh, so it's like through his photography site. Uh, but he makes a lot of really cool Stephen King, and they're not all King related, but it's a lot of cool Stephen King related uh, goodies. Uh, especially little uh, dollar bookmarks, you know, little uh, bookmarks that look like uh, custom dollars uh, and all sorts of currencies. Uh, but you can also see that it has a nice little ribbon marker with the Philip Fricasi logo on it. Uh, Paul Michael Kane also did custom. Uh, Slipcases for the two Earthling titles by Fricasi thus far. I actually, I, per, I per personally purchased the slipcase for Boys in the Valley. Did not buy one for Gothic because uh, funds were a little tight when those were on sale. I, I missed my opportunity. Don't know if he's going to do one for Serafina, but I would hope so. I'm loving the end papers here. Very nice. Uh, not quite as textured as like a Thunderstorm one, but I mean, that's. That's A-OK. Uh, it's still a beautiful design, nonetheless. Uh, the contents are your regular old uh, trade edition from Tor Nightfire, which is absolutely fine. Uh, if this were to be bound with any other page blocks, such as, it would have to be the Earthling page block, and that would jack the price right up, because the Earthling edition of Boys in the Valley uh, is worth quite a pretty penny. Uh, so the original mock-up for this uh, was a leather binding, uh, very similar to you would find in uh, 
in you know the in the uh, oh my god I you can tell that I am a heathen who has been to church in quite some time uh, in the pews you would find you know the little uh, Bibles and uh, songbooks uh, in front of you in a church or a Bible that we passed down but uh, well I mean I don't know if the leather that they could have gotten for that would have quite worked as well as one would hope. So this has a very nice uh, texture to it, very nice kind of custom paper. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a custom paper, uh, but I'm also liking the little embellishment on the front or back, if, depending on which way you're holding the book, I suppose, of the boards. Almost looks kind of like a priest collar, although it's, you know, silver, not white. Uh, it almost kind of reminds me, in a way, of the uh, numbered edition of Rosemary's Baby, uh, from Suntup, they had a similar thing with. The, I think it was just. I think it was just the slipcase. Honestly, and I, I, I haven't looked at that book in some time. It's kind of sitting neglected on the shelf there. But I have to, you know, rectify that. Uh, so, anyways, this is completely sold out. Uh, this was only available uh, through the Kickstarter, and that Kickstarter ended, and all twenty six copies did. Uh, did sell out, which is great because it actually helped to uh, fund, as I said, the uh, the book tour that Philip Fricasse went on, which was, uh, I mean, the one stop that I was able to attend, which was up in Toronto, uh, was a lot of fun. So I imagine the other ones were a lot of fun as well, um, just as much fun. I had a blast. Got to meet Philip Fricasse, got him to sign a whole bunch of uh, books that I had, also met... Uh, Craig Davidson, also known as Nick Cutter. I met Ian Rogers, uh, Andrew F. Sullivan, and, oh, I missed it. I met, met somebody else who wasn't on the bill, but I met him as well. I'm, I'm forgetting his name, uh, but I'll put a link in the description below. I had a huge book haul from that. Uh, I did a video kind of showing off the uh, books uh, that I had purchased from that trip. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so anyways, if you haven't read Boys in the Valley, uh, I would highly recommend doing so. You're not, maybe, you, know, you don't have to find a fancy copy like this. You can just find a trade edition from Tor Nightfire, uh, which is now also available in paperback uh, to pick it up. It is one of my favorite novels from the past few years. It is, you know, five-star read. I think The Exorcist meets Lord of the Flies. Uh, available now in paperback. Um, I don't know if it was necessarily this edition, but this uh, something has inspired uh, Mitch Hull from Rapture Brewing to get in publishing, so he's doing uh, Rapture Publishing now. Uh, I'm thinking about this because, you know, he facilitated this rebinding, uh, which the first chapbook he did was Witch's Tree by... Uh, Philip Picasso here. I did an unboxing on my channel showcasing the numbered and the letter edition. And he just announced the second chapbook, which is by another incredible author. Uh, it's coming out in October, you know, come right on the corner. Uh, I don't know if I can publicly say what that chapbook is or if he's just kind of keeping it under wraps for those who are subscribed to Rapture Publishing's uh, newsletter. But if that is the case, you should definitely sign up for that newsletter, and then you can find out what this chapbook is for yourself, because I am sure that it is going to sell out very quickly. Uh, it'll once again be available in a numbered and lettered edition. It is by an author who uh, also had his title sell out through uh, various limited editions. So I believe this one will sell out as well. Um, so, you know, stick around for that. I'm definitely going to be picking up a copy for myself, uh, possibly one of each, just to kind of go with the one of each I had for uh, the Fricasse chapbook. Uh, so if you want to just live vicariously through me, or if you're watching this video too late to pick up a copy for yourself, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, and you can check out those unboxing videos when I receive those chapbooks. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching. Check out Philip Fricasse. He is one of the best uh, authors working today and we'll see you around next time